Today's to the point topic is light burn version 1.7 and improvements they've made to the draw tool to make it easier to draw a curved line. Now I'll be the first to tell you that I'm not very good with it, uh, but hopefully over time with practice we can all get better. And if we use it in conjunction with the node editor, uh, we can really get some good use out of it. So we're going to grab the draw tool, the pencil, and just click to start drawing a line. And you can hold S as you're drawing uh, or at your stop. So let's stop here with a left click, hold S, and then you can start to curve. But you have to keep clicking, really. But if you're an artist, and I'm not, uh, you could really get more use out of this. And then those sharp edges that we're getting, you can smooth out, and we'll do that with the node editor. So I'm going to left click, right click to let go of it, uh, and click the selector tool. Remember, you can move your entire canvas around uh, by pushing on your scroll wheel, or you can scroll in and out. And you just notice that green window. That's something else they've added with 1.7. Uh, in the past, I've said many times that all you have to do if you pull from the right, uh, you get a green line and you just have to touch whatever you want to select. And from the left, it doesn't do that. You have to surround the entire object. But at least now, uh, you have a window of green instead of just a line. And, or a box and you have a window of red. So it'll make it easier to see uh, some of those objects and make it better. So if we select and then go over to the node editor, let's find one of these sharp corners. Uh, if you hover over the node editing tool, you can get uh, the hotkeys for making adjustments. And let's scroll in on this sharp corner here. You can hover over and hold S, and it'll round those out. Uh, so like I said, if you're an artist, or close to it, uh, you, can, you can make some drawings, and then you can really make a huge difference in that. And I'm sure over time, uh, Lightburn will come up with a way that we can, we can really do some, some drawing and make some contours and and make it the way we really want it to be. Uh, a lot of smart folks over there, and they're working to make laser cutting easier for us, and they're doing a great job. So I did do another video uh, prior to this one on uh, adjustments to the cutting tool over here on the left. It looks a lot like the, uh, the cut. This is a trim tool for shapes, and I'll drop a link for that video, video down in the description, and you can check it out if you like. Uh, I'll also drop a link to the uh, documentation that Lightburn has and a short video on some of the other things they've added with version 1.7. And it was released, I believe, the 24th of September. I just loaded it today, 26 September 24. Um, and I think it's, uh, it's going to be helpful. So that wraps up today's To The Point Time.